Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm coming on to share with you what I have made for Paper and Twine's tag collaboration. So this month she pulled out two prompts which were energetic and precise. And um, I've tried not to look at other people's entries because, you know, I really found it very difficult to think of what to put for these. And uh, I did pinch somebody's design well, at least I, I altered it a bit um, but it's along the same lines as uh, other people have used so for precise I have used this um, background paper which is of cogs which is from shiny silver treasures collection of uh, vintage treasures and then somebody had very kindly gifted me this die cut of a clock and the cogs so I thought well, you know, the cogs need to be very precise in order to make the clock function. So I thought that could be a good connection. And then I've just added be your best, be true and limited edition to that tag. Now, it is rather big, <laughs> rather wide, because I, I just wanted to fit the whole of the die cut in as well as much of it as possible. So, so that's what I did for precise. And the other one was energetic. And, um, you know, I did think of looking on the internet and I thought, well, you know, athletes are very energetic. And I, think, I was thinking, well, what have I got? I forgot that I could use. And um, I had uh, a stencil of bees. And I thought, well, bees are really energetic because they're bobbing backwards and forwards, you know, to flowers, to hive and back again. And they're constantly on the go. So I thought, well, I, I would make my tag a bee theme. So what I did was I stenciled the bee um, stencil on this card and it's got the track that the bees make as well so you know, it's sort of um, convoluted and then I have that um, uh, bee happy paper paper range in my stash so I just used this piece of paper which is, is just printed with bee happy honey um, beautiful etc so um, so I just took a little strip of that and I've um, distressed the edges with the same ink as I used for the stencil, which was spiced marmalade. And then I found this uh, image among some um, toppers that I have from Julia McNeil Crafts, one of her uh, paper packs. And uh, so I, I just fussy cut out the bees and the little honeycomb and I've placed it here. So... Um, so this is, represents my energetic tag and this is my precise tag. So I hope you like them. Um, do go over to Ashley's channel and um, Paper and Twine and uh, have a look. She's an amazing crafter and does wonderful things. She's running this collaboration monthly and I can't remember what she said. If, if, if the month has five weeks or something, she will... Um, pull out two prompts and if it's got four weeks she'll pull out one prompt I think that's what she said uh, so anyway so um, in May she pulled out two prompts so we look forward to what comes out in June and this is a you know an open collaboration you can join in if you wish um, do use the hashtag hashtag tag p t t I think Anyway, I'll put the hashtag in the description so you know what to use or, you know, just press on that if you want to see what other people have made. Thank you all for watching and take care and I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye for now.